M0FXB, welcome to my channel. UVK5 camouflage style, desert style. Look at this. Wow, let's uh let's unbox this. Of course, it's still just a UVK5. Uh, USB C, I think, yes. And then in the box of this one, we got we didn't get many extras, just the belt clip and the charger. We didn't even get a charging base. Wasn't actually cheap, but I just couldn't resist the uh, the colour, as you can see. I just think it looks great. It's a white screen, so let's take it out of the box. Uh, you know, it's, it's got a standard battery, but the battery is the camouflage colour. I, I think it looks brilliant myself. Now, in the background, oh, down there as well, um, you've got some other ones that are camouflage-y. That's an old UV5R. Still works, it's a bit scratched, but it still works. It's one of my first ones and I really like it. Uh, just because I've had them for a long time doesn't mean I I don't like my devices. That one there, UV13, this works great. But today's video is about the UV5, K5, desert style. Uh, so we'll get the belt clip on there. It's just slips on like so i don't know if i'm going to update this one with the with the exuma or the fudgy firmware because i like to have one radio that's actually original uh, the way it came out of the factory i'll get our little belt our little carry thing on there as well and we have many usb-c charging cables but even if we don't i use the adapters i use adapters for micro usb as well they are these kind of things adapter micro USB -C. and I quite like using the drop-in chargers too. I have several here okay. yes it has got USB-C and some say well you, you know in the manual it says you can't use USB-C what they actually what the advice is is you can use USB-C but don't leave it overnight because it's not good for the battery the best way to charge is always in the cradle charger okay Nice belt clip there. That's really nice. Uh, so, but yes, it's got USB-C. No problem at all. Let's see. There they are clips in nicely. And then loads of headsets on Amazon, actually, with a PTT that you can buy. So let's just fire it up for the first time. Let's lower it down and see if we can zoom in a bit. Turn on it. It'll be bright at first. Now, the thing about the older or the original firmware is the timeout on the screen is quite short, even if you adjust it, it's like five seconds. And to me, that's probably the re if I do change, you know, if I do change to the Exuma or the Fudgy firmware, which is very easy with the which you can, if you've never used one of these devices before, you just connect your cable, your Bofeng cable. You know, these are like four pound on Amazon. Twin pin goes into into here, you know, into into there. Twin pin, the other end into your PC, and you're going to be able to program this using a browser. I will show you the browser. There's your Bofun cable. There's your browser, and you literally click flash with browser. This browser comes up, uploads the firmware, and then just sends it down that cable. Just sends it down there and to put it into firmware mode, just so you know, turn off, hold down PTT, turn on, and the top will be white. So just do this right, like so. It's now in firmware mode, but we're not going to do that now. Let's just turn it on. We'll just go through the menus and then we'll end the video. So the first one is VFO memory mode. So VFO is number three. Now with the, with the firmware update, you, you can't just hold three. See, you have to use the F button. With the new firmware, you don't. So you go F3, frequency mode, frequency mode which is VFO mode. Channel mode. Channel mode. So it's F3, then F2, A and B. Remember, this is original software. And then number one, F1 cycles you through the bands. You have to be in VFO mode, so we'll go F3. Then we'll go F1. That cycles you 
And these can do more bands than you see here. And of course, broadcast radio, two meters, 70, 200 megahertz, 350 megahertz, 430, and we'll keep going. And then it starts again. But like, as you know, it does more than this. Broadcast radio, F, then FM. F then zero, basically. Now this one hasn't got the scope and all that kind of stuff that you're seeing in the updates because it's this has come standard. Programmable buttons, PTT. Menu, so you start at the top. Number one, and look, number zero one, you've got squelch. And the way you would change the squelch is you would just go menu, up and down with the arrow, confirmed. And then you can carry on cycling down. So you've got step, you go menu, choose a different step, menu to confirm, keep going down, high power, CT, CSS, transmit one, menu, up and down, let's say you want 94.8, leave that as my local repeater, GB3, menu, you've got that. And you've got the shift direction there. Let's put a minus in. So we'll go menu, go minus menu, and then exit. So if we put in the 145, so we're in VFO mode to do that. Go F, that's memory mode, F, frequency, type in 145600. Okay, and now it should. We put the shift in, we put the tone, it should. We might not have put the shift amount. No, we have to put the shift amount. So you go menu, go down to the offset, which is number nine. Press menu again. Now to start to put naught, 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 six. No, that's actually that should be naught. So let's go see if I can put a naught in. That's wrong, but let's go all the way. Then we'll do it again. There you are. Now we'll start zero, putting a zero. Zero, zero. Now six. Six hundred megahertz. Zero. Confirm. Zero. We exit now. Now when we key, we should get, and we're on high power. And there is a shortcut to power at the front, I believe. It's F power. six. Yeah, look. F six. Power. Power. High power. Let's try it. M zero FXB. Test. 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 Now let's try again. M zero FXB test test test. No, we're not making it. Uh, it's not shifting, so let's just double check why. The menu offset. Frequency direction. Oh, it's probably because when you change channel, it might not remember it. Let's exit now. Cancel. Let's try again. M zero FXB test test test. M zero FXB. No, let's try the tone again. It should normally can open it. Menu. CTCSS has CTCSS. turned itself off. Let's confirm. Confirm. Exit. Cancel. Try again. M0 FXB. Test, test, test. Come on. That was right, wasn't it? Menu. Shift. Tone, exit, Cancel. normally we can open it. M0 FXB, call in for a contact, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray, Bravo. Nope, no luck today. Anyway, so you get the idea about the menus. Um, let's try some of the other buttons, then we'll end the video. So we've got F, F, scanning, begin. scanning. So that way that works is that if I turn on a different radio, like this one and key, it should pick it up and it did look. 434, 550, CT, CSS, 77. So that, that's just your frequency scanning. I'm pretty sure if you hold down, I'm gonna wreck the place here. If we hold down one of these buttons at the bottom, get that, press it once, torch, flashing. That's your input, like turning off the squelch basically. Get that alarm sound. So I think it looks fantastic, you know? Do I need it? Definitely not. Do I enjoy it? Will I have fun with it for years? For a few pounds? 100%. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73 All The Best.